So the CDK46 inhibitors currently used in metastatic breast cancer include abamacyclib, pavocyclib, and ribocyclib. And these drugs are used in combination with hormonal therapies to treat hormone receptor positive HER2 negative metastatic breast cancers. One of these CDK46 inhibitors, abamacyclib, is also approved to be used after surgery to treat early stage breast cancer with a high risk of recurrence. And abamacyclib is also used in combination here with either tamoxifen or an aromatase inhibitor after surgery to treat early stage hormone receptor positive HER2 negative node positive breast cancer with a high risk of recurrence and a KI67 score of 20% or higher. Now, one of the most significant challenges still facing ER positive breast cancer patients is that there is still no clear standard of care in the post CDK46 inhibitor setting. So to address this important unmet need, great research has been focused intensively on the development of additional therapies that can overcome drug resistance, such as that driven through CDK2 activation and potentially provide these patients with more effective and safer treatment options. So I was delighted to present the first data from our first in class, first in human phase one trial of the CDK246 inhibitor PF687-3600, given either alone or with endocrine therapy in patients with advanced breast or ovarian cancer. The CDK246 inhibitor is differentiated from CDK46 inhibitors, such as palbocyclib, with its ability to additionally target CDK2. And since CDK2 activation seems to drive palbocyclib resistance in some breast cancers, this molecule has the great potential to overcome such resistance. And promisingly, PF3600, this drug is the first in class selective inhibitor of CDK246, and preclinical studies have already demonstrated anti tumor activity of PF3600 as a single agent and when combined with endocrine therapy. The objectives of this study were to determine the recommended dose for expansion and to evaluate the safety, pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamics, and preliminary anti-tumor activity of PF3600, given either alone or combined with endocrine therapy in patients with HR-positive, HER2-negative breast cancer, triple-negative breast cancer, or ovarian cancer. And patients during the study received escalating doses of single agent PF3600 from one milligram to 50 milligrams twice daily given orally on a continuous basis. The single agent PF3600 expansion dose was then also used in combination with, with fulvestrant. In terms of safety, dose limiting toxicities occurred in 12% of evaluable patients treated with single agent PF3600 at the highest dose levels of 35 milligrams or 50 milligrams given twice daily. The PF3600 recommended dose was 25 milligrams BID in the single agent and combination groups, and no dose limiting toxicities were observed at this recommended dose. The most frequently reported treatment related all grade AEs for single agent PF3600 and PF3600 plus filvestrand were nausea and anemia. In terms of pharmacokinetics, plasma exposure of PF3600 increased with doses up to 35 milligrams twice daily. PF3600 was absorbed rapidly and there was minimal accumulation following repeated twice daily dosing. Plasma PK, of PF3600 was largely comparable between both single agent and combination therapy with fulvestrant. In terms of pharmacodynamics, inhibition of cell cycle biomarkers, phospho-RB and KA67 was observed in patients who achieved disease control after PF3600 treatment, indicating target modulation in the tumor. So we've been very encouraged by the early responses we've seen so far with this inhibitor, even as monotherapy, especially considering that we are treating patients who have previously progressed 
on CDK4-6 inhibitors, which is consistent with our hypothesis that CDK2 contributes to resistance to current standard of care treatments and that a CDK246 inhibitor can potentially mitigate such resistance. Overall, the disease control rate among uh, response valuable patients was 56% for single agent PF3600 and 88% for the combination. Promisingly, four heavily pretreated patients with HR positive HER2 negative breast cancer patients treated with single agent PF3600 at, had partial responses, including two confirmed and two unconfirmed partial responses in patients who had previously progressed on CDK4-6 inhibitors. So to summarize, PF3600 had an acceptable safety profile and showed preliminary anti-TMI activity. It can be safely combined with endocrine therapy in heavily pretreated patients, including those with HR-positive, HER2-negative, breast cancer progressing on endocrine therapy, plus CDK4-6 inhibitors and chemotherapy. The recommended dose for expansion was determined to be 25 milligrams twice daily, a single-agent PF3600 on combination with fulvestrant.